Today I want to talk about something that I've learned a lot about on my new journey. I know I keep talking about this new journey that I've been on and it's hard to explain it. You'll just, as you watch these new videos, you'll understand the new journey. Um, but I've learned so much and one of the things that I've learned about is emotional intelligence. And it's just been so eye-opening to learn about that. And there's just three things that I wanna share that I think that I've learned about emotional intelligence that I think can help you. And I think it's so weird because this is not something that we learn, it's not something that is really taught to us in a, in a, in a certain way. Like, I guess for me, I learn things by it being literally told to me, not so much by experience when it comes to things like this. So. When it comes to emotional intelligence, okay, first of all, what is emotional intelligence? I'll put the definition on the screen, but I'm also gonna go based off of what I think it is. You know, when I heard, when I first heard the term emotional intelligence, I thought it was something so much more complicated than it, than it is. And it's literally just being a little, that being one step ahead when it comes to how you deal with your emotions. And, your emotions guys emotions is just your energy in motion and it, it and it's just so it's it, your emotions i've learned are just a reaction to our thoughts and even knowing that and being aware of that can contribute to your emotional intelligence and so my first tip for how to have better well before we get to the tips why do you want to have good emotional intelligence you want to have good emotional intelligence because it makes you a better communicator. It helps you communicate with people, guys, with family members, and you know, even more importantly, with your significant other, with your kids, guys. It's extremely important. You want to be an emotionally sound person. Okay, tip number one, how to have better emotional intelligence for men and women. You both need this. Number one, Think before you speak. And I know we hear this sometimes, but really think about what what you're gonna say, how that is gonna cause the other person to feel, how that could potentially cause them to react. Because a lot of times when we're saying something, there's always another way that we could, there's always a safer way we could, we could have said it to prevent that person from becoming hurt. Now, that has to do with intent versus impact with, okay, I intended to say, to, to say this to you to make you feel a certain way, but it had this impact on you. And somebody like me who's an empath, I already think like this. I already say things to people in the, in the best way possible where I have their emotions in mind, their feelings in mind. And it's other people that aren't like me that don't do that when they're talking to me. And that's, that's, that's um, kind of just the, I guess, downfall of having a softer heart is we're sensitive. You know, the way people say things to us, it gets to us, but it causes us to be more aware and not do that to other people. So think before you speak, kind of have, like before you even say anything, think about how it could cause the other person to react because it can prevent an argument or it could prevent a bigger issue if you just Think about what you're saying before you say it, not just what you say, but even how you say it, where, you know, you may be in a heated argument or a heated conversation. And you want to you want to say something in a certain tone. You have the emotional intelligence, you tone it down, you dial it back and you realize it's not worth that. You have emotional intelligence. Now, the second tip I would say for how to have better emotional intelligence is I gotta think of it because honestly, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. It was three things. Oh Lord. It was that. It was. That's what it was. The other thing that's gonna help you with tip number one though is spending time alone. Spending time alone not even necessarily analyzing your thoughts and journaling and meditating but sometimes if we're around too many people all the time if we always have someone in our ear 
if we're always around friends, always around family, always at work, always dealing with noise of other people, it'll mess us up. <laughs> it'll mess us up. You have to learn how to get still, get silent, and hear what you need to hear. Whatever that's, that is for you, but, but be, be with yourself. Like I said, we get sometimes we, we get caught up. You know, we're not we're not spending enough time alone, and that can cause us to hash out and things like that because there's problems that we have internally that we haven't dealt with. So spend time alone and deal with whatever you need to deal with, and that'll help with how you communicate with others. Now, my third tip for having um, good emotional intelligence is being um, a, be a good listener. Listen well listen guys one thing i practice when i'm on the phone most of my conversations are really having on the phone talking to family you know i know a lot of times we, we want to talk over someone and because we're excited in the conversation let them finish their point let the person that you're talking to finish their point guys and then speak i know we feel like it's not enough time we got to get our point in it's so important no conversations are really about the other person so listen be, be a good listener tone it down tone it down dial it back when the time does come for me to date something to keep in mind ladies be a good listener on the date now this i don't even have to really keep this in mind because i'm like this naturally i don't really want to talk that much unless it's interesting but let the guy talk let the guy talk sit listen have your emotional intelligence just it's, it's very attractive when a woman is emotionally intelligent and I think for some of us, we have to work on it. For others, we not so much. But for me, emotional intelligence, just learning about it has just been so beautiful and learning how a wife, her emotional intelligence can influence her husband and it, it just in a positive way and just end up having a whole positive impact on the entire family. And I'm gonna, I'm actually been learning more about emotions and psychology and how the mind works and it's very interesting to me lastly i will say you know <laughs> this is this is the last part of the video so most people won't even watch this sometimes with this new youtube journey that i'm on and everything that i've been experiencing in life and you know with me doing my youtube and publishing my my mini ebook and being on instagram and all these things i'm doing that to most people doesn't seem like a lot or they don't realize how much goes into it any, well, however you think of it, just I asked myself, I was asking myself today and, and yesterday, why am I doing this? Why am I consistently showing up trying to put a positive message on the internet? Trying to spread a positive message to people that follow me? Trying to uplift people? Why am I doing it? Why, why, why do I keep doing it? And it's honestly because there's a lot of reasons, but it's honestly because I have faith in my process now and I didn't before. And I know that someone out there is watching what I'm doing and is believing in me. And I know that things are going to turn around for me. And I will say that, like, you heard it right here, right now. And I just, the people that I, that I look up to that do this inspired me. They, they brought this out of me. And so this is like a burning passion and desire that I have. And there's nothing that can stop me from doing it. And I know to some people it might seem pointless that I'm doing it but this this is bigger than me and you know a year ago i couldn't sit here and talk about this and i i just looking back on my journey makes me so happy and it's what keeps me going so i want to thank you for being a part of this thank you for watching being a part of my journey i hope that you find my videos helpful valuable and i hope that it's helping you and helping you get to the next level because I'm also getting to the next level and we're all going to get to the next level together. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.